because right now I need a woman opposite me. I need a woman, okay, and Can a mother. Then let me tell you that. something. No, Joe, sit back down. I'm talking to you. Done. Blythe, sit down, please. It is 1.15. My children need to be picked up. She just got up and walked out of her own home. Really? You're being very you're disrespectful. You're criticizing everything. But I'm here. To... Correct, but you know what? I'm about to help you. Listen, listen to me. Give me five minutes, will you? It's not your fault that your husband lost his job. It's not your fault that Nana got cancer. Nana got cancer. Nana got cancer. And that's so sad. I'm in the Sunshine State, Tallahassee, Florida. Let's take a look at the family that needs my help this week. Hi, I'm Blythe Newsom, and I'm a single mom with six kids. Lachlan is 13. Maura, stop messing with that before you break it. Aiden is 12. Aiden, go in your room. <laughs> Daly is nine. Just walk down the stairs. <laughs> Daly. Moira is eight. Mom, yeah, wanging. Elspeth is five. Yeah. And Finn is three. In the last 18 months, my husband and I, we'd been married almost 13 years, we got divorced. Because of the divorce, we sold the house. The neighborhood that we lived in, it was so great. We lived four houses away from my mom and dad. The kids could walk down to their grandparents. It was big, it was spacious, they had their rooms, they had a playroom. Why did we even move from that house? That house was perfect. Okay, I want my house back. My word. I tell you, this lady needs to concentrate on the present, not live in the past. Nana was part of our life forever. She was my nanny growing up and the nanny for my children. She was with my family for 30 years. About 10 months ago, Nana found a lump in her breast. It was breast cancer. Nana passed away. You know, this is so sad. This woman has so much to deal with. And it's destroying her and her kids. The home we're in now is very small. Children are in rooms two by twos. This is actually my room, my bed. I sleep on the couch. I get maybe four hours of broken sleep a night. That really takes its toll. Over a year on a couch. She seriously must need sleep. <sighs> There's no discipline in the house. I need you no. to sit down for a minute. No. 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 There's no order. <laughs> it's just pure chaos. <laughs> Super Nanny, I need you to help us be a family again. You know, this mom needs my help desperately, but more than anything, these six kids need my help too. I'm on my way. The minute Joe walked in the house, I swear to God, I was thinking, please, God, just go upstairs and do it with the kids so I can go to the bathroom. This is Lachlan. Hi, Lachlan. Pleased to meet you. Good to meet you, Joe. Hi. This is Aiden. Hi, Aiden. Pleased to meet you. And that's okay. Daly. Hi, Daly. Come down. Mom told me Super Nanny was coming. I was not shocked. My mom really needs that help. Is this Finn? This is Finn. Oh, hi, Finn. Hi, Jojo. How you doing? Yeah, great. Please. Okay, Elspeth. Elspeth, just leave her alone. All right, I guess I'll meet more yeah, later on today. Good point. She'll come yeah. down. Okay. It's going to be extremely challenging for me. There's no two ways about that. I mean, there's a lot on this lady's plate. A lot. <laughs> I was only there about 20 minutes, and I started to see exactly how chaotic this house was. Oh, crap, no, stop. Oh, my God. Please. Ah! 
Daly started to run for cover and he hid himself in the closet. Daly, Daly. Okay, door knobs are coming off. <laughs> and it drove Elspeth nuts. Mum had to unscrew the doorknob just to get Daly out. Stop, Daly, you're gonna hurt somebody. Daly, we're not gonna lock doors in this house. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! Having seen that there was no discipline in the house, I wanted to talk to Mum to find out just how long she'd been letting it slip for. The excuse Card, which I'm, I'm going to play, the divorce, the move, Nana dying. Because when they're, you know, when the divorce happened, Nana kept it together. Right, OK. She kept me together. Right, OK. Of course, of course. Her death's been overwhelming. Of course. I want her back. As a nanny, you become an integral part of a family. So I could relate how devastated this whole family were when they lost dear Nana. So she was the giant staple. Yes, she was. It's a cool picture, huh? <laughs> her smiling there. We still think about Nana a lot. Nana was a part of our family. Every day coming home from school, and Nana would sit on the front porch and wave for everybody. Yeah, that was nice, huh? Said, Don't make me cradle my knee. <laughs> she did. I was glad to be reminded of Nana, because I miss her. And in, in, our in fact, Daly showed me a very special object he'd been given by Nana. My mom got it from Nana, and Nana told her to give it to me. May I borrow this? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Because I have an idea for this. And I knew that Nana's rock would come in handy later on. Have a baba right now. <laughs> What's a baba? What's this bottle? A bottle. Okay. How many of those does he have? How many of those does he have a day? Six to eight. It, it has to be warm or he'll throw it at you. Right. So he has as many bottles now at the age of three and a half, six to eight bottles, as a three-week, four-week-old. Yes, as, as a newborn baby would have. Yeah. I personally recommend that parents let go of the bottle with their children when they reach about 12 to 18 months. <laughs> Finn's perfectly capable of drinking out of a cup. He doesn't need a bottle, but the bad habit continues because his mother won't break it for him. Okay, look. So at the moment, what Mum's doing is teaching Finn to ask for a bottle when he shouts and yells, which is, you know, wrong. All right. Daily, here. No, mommy said get out. Later on in the day, I saw there isn't much order with regards to food. What's going on down here? Say, Joe, oh, no! What's it? What's that? Look at, what's it got? A sweet shop here, candy shop. What's this? Sweets, raisins. What's that got going on in there? What's under this one? I found my sandwich! Okay, that's <laughs> disgusting. You guys need to come and clean this off. My word. You seen underneath those sofas? They've got all sorts growing underneath there. Eating lost the cheese sandwich down there. Mum doesn't reinforce anything, let alone have responsibilities for these kids so they can tidy up after themselves and keep a home they're proud of. Who knows what I'm going to find? So who does all the washing and everything? My mum. Your mum, OK. Do you guys, do all of you guys have chores and things? Do you all do things? No. No? No? Not something you like doing, or does mum give them to you, or you um, just don't want to do them? When we want money, we ask mum to do chores, but... There's not much respect right now for her new home, and she's finding it very hard to come to terms with leaving the old house and now being in the new one. What happened to the home? We, we had to sell it. Why? 
Yeah, why? Yeah, why? It's the awesomest house ever. It, it was an awesome house, but it was it was going to be really hard for mommy to to pay for it, and it was um, just financially. Right. So it got re it, did it get repossessed then? Is that you just foreclosure? Foreclosure. Yeah. 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 They're hard times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, how, many, how many people in America exactly are having hard and times? Think... Will you excuse me for a moment because I'd like to talk to mommy just on my own. Just have some adult talk. Thank you. How long ago did you divorce? It's been like 15 months. Who, whose decision was it to file for a divorce? It was both of ours. Right. I want my wife back. What do you want back? My house back. I want Leanna back. You've had, you've had major, major events happen in your life that would rank in the top five. Death, divorce, moving homes. There are three major ones there. And all within 18 months. So let's just take it, let's just take it one step at a time, literally. Just baby steps at a time. After chatting with Blythe, it was soon time for dinner, and oh yes, the chaos returned. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Stop, you sit right here, Elspeth. No! No! You're just picking. Oh. That is enough. I'm not sitting. Okay, then you can what sit there. No! I'm, I'm, she's there. No, no, I got help. More. Well, Mum gave in to Elspeth's temper tantrum, and Moira had to move. Mum, do some. I love this meatball. I know. Get, like, durable chairs Who wants sauce? Walmart. Can I get some more pasta? I this sure pasta can. is sticky. Man, no sauce. Is cold. Now, I've seen people speak to waitresses better than what these kids were speaking to their mum. I'm getting drinks right now. Get me this, bring me that. I mean, where are the kids' right, manners? <laughs> you don't eat? No. Um, usually just because it's just, no. And after seeing all of this, you know, I'm ready to leave for the evening and, and I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow, actually. You've got a lot to do, obviously, so I'm going to leave you be so that you can do that. Okay. You want to see me tomorrow? I do. Good, because we're going to have a very big family meeting tomorrow. Give me a hug. I'll give you a hug. a bottle and a pillow. Right now I'm feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, tired, and I knew that Joe was going to tell me some things that were going to be really hard to hear about moving on. Let's talk about this. You're a single parent raising your six children. So who's going to do it? Because Nana's not here anymore. And Nana did it. When you got the divorce, Nana slipped into that yes. role. Yes. What about yourself? There's so much that I'm doing all the time that I can't, I can't do it all. I can't follow through. Why is Finn still having bottles like a three week old baby? Because it's easier than hearing him scream. I and mean, it's just one battle that I don't have to face. But from, what, from where I stand, it's not like you're prepared to fight any battle. Let's talk about house here. Okay. House space, okay? You lived in this big house that you loved. And over the years, you built up memories in that home. And now you're in this home that's not ideal for you because you've been used to things a certain way. But you're sleeping on the couch, not getting a good night's sleep, which is crazy to me because you've lost all pride and self-respect. Oh, yes. I mean, I oh, yes. I mean, seriously, why wouldn't you clean your home? We vacuum a couple times a day. There's no way. Well, no, no. wait a second. The, 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 we, couldn't no. Find, we couldn't find the vacuum cleaner for no, three days. That, no. That's not yes. fair. That... What is the point in me being here right now? You tell me. 
What's the point of me being here right now, Blythe? I know. Tell me why you asked for my help. Because right now, I need a woman opposite me. I need a woman, okay, and I a mother. Then let me tell you that. something. No, Joe, sit back down, I'm talking to you. Done. Blythe, sit down, please. It is 1.15, my children need to be picked up. She just got up and walked out of her own home. Made me realise just how difficult it is for her even to listen and hear what I've got to say. Joe, really, I'm done. Blythe. Let me tell you something. No, Joe, sit back down, I'm talking to you. The truth had all come tumbling down for Blythe. At least respect me, please. This was the first time that I've had a parent walk out on a family meeting. Three, You're being very disrespectful. You're criticizing everything. Well, I'm here, to... correct, but you know why? I'm about to help you. Listen, listen to me, give me five minutes, will you? It's not your fault that your husband lost his job. It's not your fault that Nana got cancer. Nana got cancer. Nana got cancer. And that's so sad. <laughs> don't worry, the teachers would have been rang for a minute. But listen to me, I don't care about the rain, let it rain. That's it, the heavens are opening up, obviously. But listen to me seriously. I'm about picking up from the bottom and working all the way up to the top. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and pussyfoot around. It can't get any worse than what it is. Can it? It can't get any worse. We're at the bottom. So, seriously, we're at the bottom. You only trusted one woman in your life, okay? You trusted one woman in your life. I'm asking you to give me a chance here. And trust me. continue where we started off, okay? okay? All right, let's talk about the house. No, I don't want to talk about the house. No, 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 we have, to, we have to talk about it. We have to talk about no, things, No, I, I really... Life. Life. Trust me, okay? All I want to say to you about it, okay, is that we can make things better. I agree. Right? I... It's not the best. I agree. Right? So let's change it, I... okay? I can't change what's happened, but we can certainly change what's going on right now in the present. Are you worth it? Oh, yes. Are your kids worth it? Yes. Gosh, yes. Exactly. And that's what's important. Once the storm had passed and Blythe and I had dried off a little bit... Let's get into the car. OK. I wanted to start teaching straight away, so I took her on a little trip. We're going to drive to the old house, OK? When Joe told me where we were going, I thought I want to turn around. I don't want to walk back on the grass, but I sat there and played with the kids so many times. I don't want to go back there unless it's my home. I want to go back there and miraculously have it be what it was before. Once outside the house, there was a favorite spot that mom had, and she took me to it, and there was a message on the wall. So it's kind of faded because of the rain. The rain's washed it off. Oh, look. The O, the V, the E. They snuck out the back and snuck out yeah. the side gate to come and do it. And then they came in, and their hands were muddy, and I said, what have you done? And they're like, nothing. <laughs> That's fabulous. My head gets the. It's just four walls and a roof. My heart is in a totally different place. You say goodbye to a house now, but you don't say goodbye to your memories. You remember them, they stay in your heart. You take those with you and you create new ones in your new home. She needed to make a decision in her heart, as well as her mind, that she was going to create new memories in her new home. So I asked mum to go buy a house, just to say it, just to let herself say it so that she could hear her own voice by house because I'm about to create a new home now with my family. What are you letting go of? Just the house. Exactly. What are you keeping? I'm keeping the memory. Yeah, of course you're keeping the memories. We're not letting so go of the memory. Goodbye to my house. To this house. Goodbye to this house. Goodbye house.
I have a new home now. So I said goodbye to the house, not the memories, because those are mine. Mom's going to have to find the strength from somewhere to push through everything that's going on right now. And so I decided to get Daly and Mum together. You really worry about Mum, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And you love Mum very much and you worry about her. And then when she gets upset, you get upset. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you're all part of one big family. Mum can't just do this on her own. Okay, it takes you as a grown-up boy as well to understand what's going on. Now, when you and I spoke the other day, we spoke about Nana and we spoke about the fun times and it makes you feel sad all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of children ask, why, why did it have to happen? He and Nana were so close. There was this bond between the two of them. Why did it have to happen to Nana? I don't know. I don't. I wish I knew. Me too. My mummy had breast cancer, the same as Nana, and and it was very aggressive as well, and and she didn't survive. It's sad because you know we feel lost. During my observation day, I became aware that Nana had left a rock for Daly that had the word strength. And when I saw that, I knew I'd be able to use this rock in a very powerful way. You know, Nana was a very wise woman because Nana left you this rock and it says strength. This is certainly what she's asking the whole family to have, strength. Now, Mummy's going to need a lot of strength to put things back on track, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think this might be a good idea if you lend this to Mum for a while so she can carry it around in her pocket. Mom. Thank you. He's a very brave guy and an amazing guy to give it to me. And you know what? If he can give it to me, he must believe in me. When times get tough, you can pull out that rock and, and recognize what it symbolizes. Mum being that rock. So where's the rock? Right here. <laughs> Finn started crying, saying that he wanted a bottle. There was going to be no great time to get rid of the bottles. Yeah, so don't be a part of the punishment. Yeah, get rid of him yeah, and leave him. Yeah. Finny, yeah. we're going to throw our bottles away and drink out of a big boy cup, no. OK? No. 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 Finn went into this whole huge fit, and then that led to a total meltdown. <laughs> I thought, I'm ruining his life. This is like gonna be one of those life-changing moments that this child is gonna be in therapy in for the rest of his life because I took his bottles away. <laughs> I was literally to the point where I thought, just forget it. Just, just forget it. I can't do this. This is too hard. Finny, we're gonna throw our bottles away and drink out of a big boy cup. I made a decision that Finn was going to come off the bottles, and it was as simple as that. <laughs> I'm like any mother. Your child is hurting. It makes your heart break. It's your weakness. And I just wanted to give in. That does penetrate when you have to listen to a child cry and scream the way Finn does. But eventually he stopped. I was very surprised with how quickly it all came to an end. All of a sudden, he's laughing because we're playing hide and seek under the covers. No! I found one! I did it! He stopped. He stopped. He stopped. <laughs> all right? That's and you know dance. what? And you know what? And tonight, he may cry, and then you'll just have to listen to it and push through it, and then he'll stop. OK. Looking now. That's what you need to remember. And then a magic moment. He asked for a glass of juice. You hold the juice. Can I have a glass of juice? I felt like I had won the lottery. <gasps> you did it! You did it! You are such a big boy. So now it's time to get Mum some help around the house. Mum, on a piece of paper, I would like you to write down all the chores that would be helpful if the kids did them. Okay. 
the fact that some of these kids are 13, 11 and 9 and have never ever done any chores blows me away to be honest with you. Guys, come downstairs. Everybody, we're having a meeting. So this was a time for mum to assert herself and get busy with these kids but considering they've never picked up anything themselves, it was going to be a little bit of trouble. Because I can't do it all anymore guys. Every person has to make their bed before they go to school in the morning. Oh, man. It's Lachlan yes. and Aiden, you are responsible for cleaning your bathroom. No, no, no. That they're is not where going they're... in there. I'm not letting them in there. Deal. They can't take showers. Deal. And... You three have the other bathroom. Or you four. Guys, these are the rules. This isn't like a discussion right now. But what we are going to do is we're going to tag team the kids, all right? To help mum delegate the chores, she wrote down on a piece of card the job that the team needed to do. You two are gonna be a team and you're gonna go what? clean the bathroom upstairs. The kids would have matching ribbons and when they had finished, they would hand in those colored ribbons afterwards. You three have the other bathroom. Oh, mom! Ah, 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 ah. No butts. I don't like cleaning up. Even if, you know, the kids don't like it, I know it's, like, really good for my mom. Like, it's for the best. For the first time to really do chores, they did really well. Once they got going... I got it. They just did it. Great job! It is nice to see the kids all pulling together with mom. However, she is still sleeping on the sofa, and I think that's wrong. As a mother, you have done what every other mother would have done, okay? You prioritised the children's sleep. But you do want a bed to be able to sleep in, obviously. Because there's no spare bedrooms, it makes sense to put her in Lachlan and Aidan's bedroom. And so I snuck off to the shops, got what I needed for her to bring back. So what we all did as a family was to put two girls' bunk beds together. I'm glad that she got a room. Like, she was, she's able to room with me and my sister. Mommy. Setting up the bedroom today was really fun. It was everybody in there together. <laughs> the nice thing was is that when they finished, and all the kids jumped on the bed to join her. Do you know how long it's been since I've been able to say to my kids, come lie down in bed with me. Let's just hang out. It was a good thing for my mom to get a bed. Oh, guess what? Uh, you're not sitting on my bed anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs>《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》
So it's been three days since I've been away and I'm curious to see, did mum hold up? All right, let's take a look at the first clip. We're gonna look at the bottles. Okay. And how that's been going. Okay. I'll pour you a drink. Good job, go to the table. Good job. He's off the bottles. They're gone. Good job. They're gone because look, he's onto cups. Yes, you and know? big, big boy cups. Exactly. He's drinking out of cups. This is exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Let's move on to the next clip. Ah, do not pee in the bushes. No. Well, uh, that's where we go potty. No, 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 no. Let's go inside and go potty and we'll come find some bugs. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Caught in the act. In order to break that habit, it means you've got to follow through with it. So I do love your tone there because you are saying, hey, come on, we don't want to be doing it here, but follow through by taking him to the bathroom because you're breaking that little habit that's happened. Okay. I'm going to take a look at some chores. Thank you. Can you shut our door, please? I want to be with her. No, Mom, I'm not there though. I want to walk with Ada. No! Elspeth and Moore, you just spray the bathroom counters on the kitchen counters. Lachlan, Finn, and Daly, you need to vacuum the rooms. Aiden, you need to fold the laundry. Finn doesn't go. I love the fact that they were all like, oh, no, in the end, vacuum comes out, <laughs> they're polishing away. So you've become very good at giving direction and pairing them off and telling them what they've got to do, all right? You've certainly got into a place where you're like, I need help with the running of the house. And these kids are old enough to be able to do it and you're sticking with that. So we're going to move on to the last clip here. Daily, take the shirt off. Stay in your room. You are not going to take part in this game. No, Daly. No. Daly. Daly. What? You are not going to take part oh, in the game. I'm sorry. I cannot. I'm it doesn't sorry. matter, love. Mom. You're Daly, you. you're not going to ruin my day and everybody well, else's day. you ruined everyone else's day, Mom. Well, I'm sorry. Keep trying to make that perfect day, okay? He's just being a smart pants right now. You know, he's being really disrespectful and, and cocky with you. And when he plays up, what's important for you is to be able to really show your authority for your tone of voice. So your face is dead serious. You're giving him a lot of eye contact and you're really exercising your voice. Otherwise, this will get worse. This really will get worse, this behavior. So what I would love to see is more authority Okay. So you ready for some more work? Yes. Thank you. After watching the DVD footage, I realised that Daly still needs to curb that behaviour. This is what I've got for you. Okay, Daily, Daily report. report. I think it's crucial that Mum has a report book that allows her to write down what's been happening and going on with Daly. I want you to write in it daily with regards to his behaviour, all right? And he really does need to realise that he's got to start respecting his parents. Daily, love. Come here for a second. No, kids. I don't want to talk to I need you to come talk to me. I don't want to talk to Daily, there's some neat things we're going to do. Please come here. You know, Blythe is allowing Daly to feel like she has no control. Stand up and stop faffing around. Stop showing off. Go and sit down at the table, please. 
making sure that she used her tone of voice to curb that behaviour is certainly going to stop her from getting into a place where he feels he can just overrule whatever she says. Every morning before I leave for work, It's not stupid, Daly. Yes, this is, is this is don't be disrespectful. This is your your daily report. And I'll be writing it every day. And I'll write what's happened during the day and also the really cool stuff. Cool. Okay. Are we done yet? Yes. Thank you. Bye. I'm certainly getting used to having more control and taking up the reins of authority, but it's a slow process. But she'll get there. Why don't we go outside into the backyard? It's nice outside, we can talk there. Before I left, I knew that I wanted to give this family an event that would allow them to celebrate and honour Nana's life. What was it that you loved about Nana that made you smile? <laughs> Everything. I miss laughing with her. I miss her telling daily, don't make me put you over my knee. <laughs> and us all giggling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have something in this bag that I want to give to you all. Pink! Really? That's right. It is. There is a very special walk that is happening for charity where thousands of people are going to be in honour of those fighting cancer. And what I thought would be a wonderful idea for all of you would be to celebrate and honour the life of Nana her spirit, the woman who she was. Nana is up in heaven, just delighting in this. Thank you. Thank what you would girl. Nana say about the shirt? Yay. She'd be like, girl, give me one. <laughs> it is about remembering Nana and the wonderful times that they had with her. Team yeah, Nana. all about Team Nana. My son put on a pink shirt with such pride. I'm bringing this to school. Team Nana is off the chain. Listen, it is time for me to leave. I'd like to wish you all continued happy memories in your home. Together as a family, you have something very special. It's called each other. I think we've come a long way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Daily, take care of yourself. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ah. My mom got the help she needed. My mom's happy now. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. I'm brave you. Thank you so much. It's been an interesting experience, and it was a really valuable thing to have happen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the children and I are so much better because of Joe. I'm laughing again. I'm smiling again. We are going to go on into the next chapter. <laughs> because mum is becoming more stable. The children are happier than what they were when I first met them, and there is a very bright future for herself and for her children. I'm so happy that Joe pushed us to do this. If Joe had not come into our home and into our hearts, we'd probably be sitting at home right now and being sad instead of doing something. We went from being a family that lost someone to breast cancer to a family who's fighting in honor of Nana. You guys have done great. What if Atticus Walk, one woman, decides to do a self-breast exam and someone doesn't die from this disease? Then Nana didn't die in vain, and a life is saved. <laughs> See, Nana got a little heavy. <laughs> and even though sometimes we're gonna have to carry each other, that's what we'll do. We'll just carry each other through the hard times and smile through the good times. <laughs> <laughs>